Hello everyone, welcome to another video and hopefully in this video you are seeing my screen without those black borders around the screen uh, I did change the screen recording program, that was your suggestion if you have any other suggestion you can leave a comment so the idea for this script is actually to find all the legends and schedules that we have in our project and to export those names to Excel in order to be able to quickly and more easily perform visual check what we have or we don't have on uh, each sheet. Here when we have uh, a sheet I think it's possible to perform uh, that check but if you have 30 or 100 sheets uh, I think it will be more efficient to do that in Excel. So let's see how the script work. This is the entire script, it's a small script and I will run the script. It is important that uh, this final node have success message. Now I will open Excel file. Now I will adjust width. So what we have here it's basically first column with the sheet number, second column with the sheet name. Then when we have a legend uh, we will have some values. When we don't have a legend on that sheet we will have a blank cell. And the same goes with the uh, schedule. Uh, with one note that uh, in case when we have multiple legends on uh, some sheet like here we will have a legend name then a separator a comma then a second legend name again a comma and so on and so on so now let's try to change something in Revit and export it again so we must close this file before we run the script again so we can for example, add any legend. I don't have any electrical legend. So I did add this diffuser legend over here. Now we want to run the script again and uh, recheck our Excel file. Run. Again, it's success. We need again to adjust the width. And here it is. So I didn't perform sorting inside the Dino script. You can do it and now let's see the entire script so again one of your suggestion was to uh, for each node add this node uh, which will refer to the used package uh, anyway inside the description of the each video and on my website for each script you have information which package did I use but if this is easier for you I will proceed uh, in the future also with adding these nodes so uh, at first we must retrieve all the sheets uh, which we have in the project uh, then this node over here will separate views and schedules so with schedules it's a pretty straightforward uh, we will then manipulate with a name and so on and so on but for views if you take a look uh, for the views view uh, can be section view floor plan elevation and so on but also our legend uh, is the view so we must separate legend from all other views and I did made a separation of the legend in this way so at the end uh, for all sheets which does not have a legend I will have empty list and for uh, those sheets which have a legend uh, I will have the values and because I don't want to export this legend open bracket name equal and so on uh, I just want to export a name so basically I did uh, transfer uh, values from this node over here to retrieve just a name and then uh, because over here I have six different legends I didn't want to create six uh, rows in the Excel I want to store everything in the one row and that is why I did add this uh, comma as a separator. I did apply the same logic for the schedule, but over here we have only one schedule by, by the sheet, so here we don't have a need to separate anything. And that is it for the sheets and the legend. We also need those columns regarding the sheet number and sheet name, so we will retrieve the sheet numbers by calling this parameter sheet number and again if you want to sort this uh, you can add uh, one more node here you you will then sort 
uh, the number but also you will need to sort everything so the name legend names and schedules names we did easily retrieve the names and now for all uh, data which i have sheet numbers names legend and schedules i also want to add this first row as a title so at first we will have sheet number then the data again sheet name and data legend name and data and schedule name and data everything we will deliver to this list create node and because i have a problem with uh, using those native export excel uh, nodes i did find that uh, when i use these bumblebee nodes i don't have any problems so in order to set up this bumblebee node you will need to have a file path you want to say that you want to run this export i also decided that i want to arrange uh, data by the column i did choose sheet name and the origin and the data itself and pretty much that is it Thank you for watching. Bye.